Hi, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we're going to be looking at the volume of a cylinder. This is what a cylinder looks like. It has a circle on top and a certain height. Okay. So remember, when we're looking at cylinders, it is a perfect circle on top. That's what we're looking at. The big idea about this, first off, we're going to find the area of the base. Oddly enough, the base will probably be shown on the top. Don't let that confuse you. It's OK. We're going to find the area of the base, and then we're going to multiply the area of the base times the height of the cylinder. And that will give us the volume of this cylinder. So if you've ever you know, grabbed a glass of water and said, I wonder how many cubic inches of water is inside of this glass, after you listen to this lesson, you'll be able to figure it out. Or if you ever wanted to know how many cubic inches of food there was in a can of beans, you could figure that out too. All right, very important. Let's go on to our session part lesson here. OK, for the first example, I've drawn an incredibly skinny little cylinder with a diameter of two inches. Now with um, the area of this circle up top, the formula is pi r squared. So first off, we have to convert this diameter of 2 inches into being a radius. So if the diameter is 2 inches, the radius is half of that. So our radius is going to be 1 inch. And that, in this question, I went ahead and made it an approximate value using the value of 3.14 for pi. So 3.14 times the radius, which is 1 inch, squared. When we square 1 inch, 1 times 1 is 1, and the inches times inches will give us 1 inch squared, 1 inches squared. All right, and the pi remains the same. So as we solve for that, 3.14 times 1 will give us 3.14 inches squared. And it's important to have the inches squared because that's going to help us later on when we get into the actual volume when it's a cubic inch. So with the square inch, we're looking at two dimensions, or in other words, the area of this circle up top. That was all of step one. Now step two is to find the volume. We're going to multiply the area of this circle times whoop, all the way down to the bottom. Let's go ahead and look at that. The area times the height. That's the formula for volume. So I took the area from up here, 3.14 inches squared, and I multiply that times 20 inches. And 3.14 times 20 will give us 62.8. And inches squared times inches will give us inches cubed, or inches to the power of 3. And that's going to be our final answer for the volume of this crazy looking cylinder. All right. One more example that I did, and I did this one a little bit differently, but you'll see it's the same exact steps. Um, first off, I made my, I labeled the radius in this instead of ra labeling the diameter, so I can immediately put the value of five centimeters right into this equation. So the area of the base up top here is pi times the radius of 5 centimeters squared. When I do 5 centimeters squared, I square 5, and I square centimeters. So I'll end up with the area being equal to pi times 25 centimeters squared. This can also be written as 25 pi centimeters squared, and that's fine. Notice in this one, I did not approximate to 3.14. In some questions, you may be asked to give the exact area or the exact volume. And in this case, this is the exact area, 25 pi centimeters squared. If we're asked for the approximate area, it would be about 78.5 centimeters squared. All right. So these are both answers. This is the exact answer, pi times 25. And this is the approximate value, 78.5 centimeters squared. In the next section, I'm now going to find the volume by multiplying the area of the base times the height. And the area of our base, I get it from up here. 
and I'm going to go ahead and use 25 pi centimeters squared. So the way that I would write the area of the base, 25 pi centimeters squared times the height, which is 14 centimeters. 25 times 14, and then I'll do centimeters times centimeters. And what I'll end up with is 25 times 14 gives me my 350 pi. And centimeters times centimeters gives me centimeters cubed. So that would be the exact volume of this cylinder. If I'm going to look at an approximate volume, I'll use the value of 3.14 for pi and get that my volume is approximately equal to 1,099 centimeters cubed. All right? It's the approximate volume. So again, if you're asking, when will I ever use this in my life? You're now ready, and you never have to wonder how many cubic centimeters of food can fit in a can. A cubic centimeter, by the way, is equal to one milliliter of water, at least. So um, if you ever see that it's a certain number of milli milliliters, that's the same thing as a cubic centimeter. So there you go. You'll never have to wonder how much food is in a can, how much soda is in a can, or I don't know, whatever else you may wonder about different cylinders. I hope this has been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.